Hello and welcome. My name's Merlin Griffiths. I'm the Global Ambassador for Bombay Sapphire. And today we're going to make some very quick, simple and easy pitcher cocktails for entertaining. I'm going to start with a ginger snap. Very, very simple, containing only four ingredients. I'm going to make the drink for four people. So we're going to start with four measures of dry gin. This is lovely. We have cassia bark involved in the making of the gin. And it's a lovely Christmas flavor. It's got a nice warm spice. And we're going to play around with this and bring out some of the spice. I'm going to follow this with two parts, so half a measure for each person there, of ginger syrup. This I picked up just from a local coffee store. And I'm going to add a whole part of freshly squeezed mandarin juice. Or if you're over in the UK, you might call it a satsuma. This is a wonderful Christmas flavor. And lastly, we're just going to spritz with an equal amount of soda. You prepare this in the morning before your friends arrive, giving you more time to spend with them. But for now, we're going to ice up our pitcher. Give it a stir to get it nice and cold. And so there we have a sapphire ginger snap. Now, I'm going to mix you a mistletoe martini. It's very, very simple, and you can prepare it the evening before. I'm going to start with a pitcher, and into here, we're going to put four parts of Bombay Sapphire. I'm now going to add a little cranberry juice for each person, and lastly, real lemonade. Now, we're going to pull together some of the lovely citrus flavors that's in Bombay Sapphire itself. We're going to pull together some of the lightness of the juniper. So like this, you can cover it, keep it in the fridge overnight, and use the next day. But for our purposes, we're going to ice this up. Plenty of ice. Ice is also very, very important. We need our drink very cold. Give it a stir. It's best to serve this in a martini glass, I find. Keep the drink short. Carefully pour, and I'm going to garnish just for color and contrast and to add a little freshness to the nose there, a little fresh mint. Look at the lovely colors on this, this is great. And there we have one mistletoe martini using Bombay Sapphire Dry Gin. Contrary to what a lot of people expect from gin with heavy juniper and heavy citrus, the vapor infusion process we use, very similar to steaming, means that the flavors are lighter and more balanced, and you get to experience more than just the juniper and the citrus in there. On top of these, coriander adds a little freshness, a little lightness, a little zest and life to the spirit at the end. There is cassia for warmth and spice, almonds to give a little nutty cleanness and backbone, and finally on the finish, there's a very light pepper from cubeb berries and grains of paradise from Java and West Africa. It's the whole construction of all of these various herbs and spices from the best places around the world that create a truly exciting experience for when you enjoy your gin.